In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use Linktree for affiliate marketing. I'm going to walk you through how to add uh, the links, the affiliate links to your uh, Linktree page, as well as how to make your page uh, look great in order to increase conversions, make it look professional. And then in the end, I'm also going to go over how you could um, go about sending traffic to your page. There's multiple ways. So let's get right started. So I've just uh, come to Linktree. It's linktr.ee. And uh, you can just sign up for a free account by clicking right here. All right, so uh, once you've signed up for an account, you'll end up on this page right here. So the first thing I would recommend you do is uh, head over to appearance right here. And by the way, this will also work uh, the same way on the mobile apps. So if you want to use that, you can also go ahead and use that, of course. Okay, so once you're on this page, there's uh, multiple things we want to do here. First, let's scroll down where it says themes. And here we can uh, change the theme and uh, with the free version, there aren't that many themes available, but there are quite a few. Um, so let me just choose one and you can also change that later. I'm just going to uh, choose this one for now. And then over here, you can see what it looks like. Well, red might not be the best. Let's just use this one for now. Okay. So once you've chosen the theme, the next thing you want to do is uh, you want to add a bio. So I just typed something into my uh, bio. Uh, I would recommend you uh, type something else, like um, type something that'll make uh, the conversion rates higher. Uh, I couldn't come up with anything right now, but yeah. And then I would also recommend you add an image right here. Otherwise, it's just uh, this right here. So that doesn't look too professional. So just upload an image by clicking pick an image and then you can upload one or you can also design one with uh, Canva or uh, apparently use an NFT if you have one of those. So yeah, once you're done with that, you can head over uh, back to links right here. And so once you're back on that page, you can just click on add link right up here. So click on that. And then uh, the easiest way of doing it would be clicking view all right here. And then you can choose the type of content that you want to add. And so if you're using a type that is listed here, like they have PayPal or uh, tip jars and uh, YouTube, for example, uh, then I would recommend clicking on add next to it. But uh, if you're doing affiliate marketing, it's probably not going to be here. So let me close that again. If you just have an URL, you can just paste that in here. So let me do that. So just for example purposes for this video, I'm just going to put uh, google.com and then click on add right here. Obviously, you would put your affiliate link there and then there the first link has been created. And as you can see over here, it's also added a picture automatically from the uh, web page that it leads to. OK, so now you can click here to edit the title and I would uh, recommend you to edit it and type something that describes your uh, affiliate product. So you would probably add something like this best budget and then uh, whatever the product is. And um, you could also add some emojis to that if you want. So if you're using a PC and don't have access to emojis like that, you can um, just go over to this website right here, getemoji.com. And then you can just uh, choose an emoji that you want. You can also type something in here in order to find it. So let me just type in flame, for example. And then right here, that's the emoji fire. That's the one I was looking for. So just click on it and then just say uh, click on copy right there and then it's copied it to, the, to your clipboard and now we can just add it to the title like maybe at the front as well and uh, like that it'll just look a bit better. Okay and then uh, let's uh, change this picture right here so you can do that by clicking on thumbnail and then uh, you can well you can remove it if you want to remove it. Uh, or if you want to change it, you can click change or set thumbnail right here. And then you can just upload your own thumbnail if you have one on your PC. So you could just upload a picture of the product, probably if you're promoting a product or something that uh, just um, makes people want to click on the link. Or if you don't have that, you can also choose the second option right here and you can choose uh, and you can then choose uh, one of these icons that they uh, give you right here. So I'm just going to use this one for now. Okay, and that's how it'll look. And so once you've done that, just close it right here. 
And there we go, that's uh, our first link that we've added. Now you can also add some more things like a header for example, so just click on that and then it'll add this uh, right here and you can just type uh, in a title right here. Okay, so I've just typed something in and that's how it'll look on the uh, link, on the link tree page. So yeah, that's that. And now if you want to add more products, you can of course just add a new link. So let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just added a second link and as you can see it added it up uh, here at the top. So if you want to move it, you can just hold it over here on the left side and then just drag it wherever you want it to be. Okay, and now uh, what you can also do, head over to settings right here and then scroll down to uh, where it says social icons right here. And so then if you have some social icons that you want to also promote, like uh, apart from the affiliate products, like I don't know, maybe you want to build up an Instagram page or a YouTube channel or something like that, you can also add an icon here or you can also add your email like I did right here. So you would just click on add icon and then you would choose whatever uh, icon you want to add. So as I mentioned, you could add an email, you could even add your Etsy shop, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. So for this example, I'm just going to add uh, an Instagram icon. So click on that and then you would just enter whatever it asks you for. So for this Instagram icon, obviously, you're going to have to enter your Instagram username. So let me do that. So once you've entered it, you can just click on add and it'll add that uh, link right there, as you can see. And uh, if people click on that, they'll uh, get redirected to that account. Or if you have added an email, they'll be able to open their email client straight away and uh, send an email to the email address you provided. And uh, here, same thing, you can also uh, drag it and it'll change the order of them. All right, so now uh, once we're done uh, designing our uh, Linktree page, we can just uh, click over here in the top right corner on share and then just click on open or you can just copy your link. And so that's how it'll look. You can just copy the URL and then you can start sharing uh, the URL and send, start sending traffic to this uh, page. People will be able to click on your affiliate links and hopefully buy some products through this. And I'm going to uh, give you some examples of uh, ways you could uh, get traffic to your Linktree page. You might already have uh, a social media page like an Instagram theme page, for example. That's quite a popular way to promote uh, affiliate products. And especially with Instagram, you can only have one link in the bio. So you can only have one link in the Instagram bio, the link in bio. And so especially for that, it's going to be very helpful to have a link tree because then you can have multiple links on uh, through one link and you can just send people to that one link and they'll be able to find all of the affiliate products. And then you can also on Instagram, you can also have uh, links and stories. I think you need uh, 10,000 followers for that though. So yeah, there are other ways. Of, of course, you can also just build up a theme page on Instagram or on any other uh, social media platform. Obviously, TikTok is um, also big nowadays. So you could use that. You could use Twitter. There's uh, all sorts of things you can do. Obviously, also YouTube, you could use that. But you don't necessarily need to have a link tree for that because uh, YouTube allows you to put multiple links in the description or in the pinned comment. So that shouldn't be a problem there. Although it might be organized a bit better and the conversion might be a bit better once people have gone through to your link tree. All right, so now that you send uh, traffic to your uh, Linktree page, you might want to see how much traffic you've sent to it and how that is converting as well. So what you can do is uh, click on analytics right here on your admin panel. And this is quite useful to see um, how well you're doing. And then up here, first of all, you'll be able to see your views, your clicks and uh, the click through rate at a glance as well as your revenue, but that will be zero unless you've set it up and subscribers, which would also be zero unless you've set it up. But yeah, so right here you can uh, filter by date. So we might want to put the whole of December and you can select up to 28 days at a time. And then here you can see a graph uh, on a per day basis. And yeah, 
So uh, the views are how many people have clicked onto your Linktree page. And then the clicks are how many people have actually clicked through on the links that uh, are on the on the Linktree page. So in this case, uh, uh, those would be the clicks through to the affiliate links. And uh, that's the conversion rate. So how many people that have gotten to your uh, Linktree page have actually clicked through to a link. And then there would be some more uh, analytics. Unfortunately, those are only for pro users. Uh, I'm not sure you actually need this. Uh, maybe if you uh, have grown uh, this into a uh, relatively big revenue stream, you might want to invest into the pro version anyways. But yeah, so that's all you get for the free version, but um, that's already quite useful to see um, how well you're doing. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and comment down below what you thought about the video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.